Hi guys, this is Sadek from Drivin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to fix the issue of ADB fail to install app failure install failed version downgrade. So this issue usually happens when you are trying to downgrade a system app from your phone. For example, let's take the help of YouTube app. So in case of any system app on any Android device, there is no option to uninstall the app. As you could see from its app info page, you cannot uninstall the app from here. And even if you go to the Play Store page, you might see the uninstall button but this will not remove the app from your phone rather it will only remove the app updates of that particular app so if you tap on uninstall then the os will simply revert the app to the stock version and it will remove all the updates but the app will still remain on your phone so to downgrade or uninstall any system app you will have to take the help of adb commands and this is the reason for this issue as well so let me explain you for the sake of reference i'll be using the youtube app and before starting, let me tell you to please enable USB debugging. For that, go to the settings menu on your phone. From settings menu, go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. This will enable developer option. Now go to system, developer option and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. Once that is done, you also have to download and install the Android SDK platform tools. The link for that is given in the description. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in the E drive. You could extract them anywhere you want. After that, you will also have to download the IPK file for which you are downgrading. In my case, I am downgrading the YouTube app. So as of now, I am using the latest build of YouTube which is version 18.0.8.34. And as you could see, there is no update in the Play Store as well. So I am on the latest build just to re-verify 18.0.8.34 as you could see. So I have downloaded an older version of the YouTube app and simply rename it to YouTube old APK. I guess this version is around 18.0.1 I guess. So it's an older build and if I now try to downgrade the YouTube app via ADB command, so first off I'll have to remove the app from my device. So for that, first and foremost, you have to open the CMD window inside the platform tools folder. So type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. This will launch the CMD window inside the platform tools as you could see. Now let's try and downgrade the YouTube app. So you might have seen across various websites and online videos that the code to uninstall a system app has been listed as this adb shell pm uninstall user zero and the package name however this is the main reason for the issue as well if you execute this command then it will remove the app from your phone but it might not remove all the app data so some of the app data will still be there on your phone and it might then conflict with the older app package and that is why you are getting the adb error which i have shown you here so to fix this issue you will have to remove the app after executing both these commands let me show you what i mean so by generic way if i simply use this first command here the package name needs to be replaced by the app package name in my case i'm using the youtube app so the package name will be you could go to the play store and refer the url so the url after the request to sign is the app package name so in my case the app package name is com google android youtube so let me copy that so the complete commands becomes adb shell pm uninstall user zero and the app package name so if i simply execute this command you might see that the app will be removed from my phone just see the icon of the youtube app so the app has been removed from my phone as well as I have got a success message. So many users believe that the app has been removed from their phone. However, the app is still there. Some of the app data is still there on the system. But if you try to install the app now, so by using the ADB install, then the name of the app, which in my case is the YouTube old APK file. So as you could see, if I try to install the app now, I will not be able to install and I will get that error message. So let me show you. So as you could see, I've got this error message because the app has not been removed from my phone completely. Likewise, you could say that what's the need of ADB command simply could be installed via the phone itself. So let me show that as well. If I simply install the older APK, it's 18.0.1. If I install via APK file and let me show you what happens here. So if I try to install via the APK file itself, then it will show me that app is not installed as package appears to be invalid. So in both these cases, you will not be able to install an older APK file of the system app. So to fix this issue, you will have to execute one more command. So after you have executed the first command, you will then have to execute a second command as well. Again, replace the packet name with the name of the file. In my case, it's the com Google and Android YouTube. So the complete command in my case is this one. So after I've executed the first command, as you could see over here, this is the first command. Let's now execute the second command as well. And now if I execute a second command, the YouTube app has been completely removed from my phone. And now I should have no issues as such in installing the older APK. So now if I try go ahead and install the APK by the ADB command, let me show you the status. This time the app will be installed and there will be no issues as such. So it could only take a few seconds and let's wait for the time frame. So as you could see, the app has now been installed. And if I show you the app version as well, 
So here's the app. Let's take it to the home screen. Now, as you could see, the app has been downgraded to an older version. It's a 18.0.1.36. Apart from the 18.0.8, we have now downgraded to 18.0.1. So, and this time around, we haven't got any error as such. So to fix this issue, instead of just using this single command, you have to execute both this command and then you have to install the app via the adb install command. Apart from that, you could also use, now you could also use the apk file to install this app. So let me show you how that could be done as well. So up until now, I had shown you how to install via the adb command. Let's now show you simply installing the app via the apk file. So first and foremost, let me remove the YouTube app from my phone. So this is the first command and this is the second command. Now, if I try to install the older version via the simply the apk file as well, this time I will not get any error message. Last time I was getting app appears to be invalid because the packet name was not valid. But this time around you could see the app have been installed. So you could now easily install the app via the adb command or via the apk file and you will not get any error. The only fix to keep in mind is that you have to execute both this command and then only install the older apk file. So guys, on that note, I round off this video. You could now close the video if you want. However, I would like to discuss one more thing. So I have told you just now that you could use both this command to fix this issue. But apart from that, there also exists one more method through which you could fix this issue. So let me show you the second method to get this job done. For that, let me first update the app to the latest build. So it will just take a few seconds. So let me now update the app. And this time around, I'll show you a second method to fix this issue. So it, up until now, we have discussed the method of using both this command, but you could also simply use one of this command and then install the app via a modified install command. In this case, we'll be using the dash D parameter, which stands for downgrade. So either you should execute both this command or simply execute the first command and then use the adb install dash D parameter. And in that way also the issue should be fixed. So let me show you the status. Currently the app is being updated, so it should only take a few seconds. And now let me show you the fix as well. The second, this is the second fix. In the first fix, as I have told you before, you have to install both this file. So let me show you. The app has been updated. And yes, so either in the first fix, I have told you, you have to execute both this command. But in the second fix, I'll show you how to use only the first command and then use a modified adb install command. So as of now, as you could see, I'm on the latest version of the YouTube app. Let me bring it to the home screen as well. So now I am on the latest build and I will now be executing just the first line of command. Let me open a new CMD window for the ease of convenience. So it's a new CMD window. And now I'll execute just the first command. Just a minute. So this is the first command that I've executed. And although the app has been removed, but the app data will be st still be there. And if I try to use the simple command of adb install, I will get the error message of downgrade. Likewise, if I try to install by the APK, it would also not be installed and I will get the app packet name appears to be invalid because the data is still there. So in that case, you could either use the second command as I've told you before, or you could use this modified adb install command. So let's use this adb install command modified one. So in my case, this is the app packet name is YouTube older APK. So let's now execute this command as well. So this is our CMD window. Let's now execute. So I've only executed the first command of uninstall and now I'll be directly using the adb install dash d parameter command. And let me show you the issue should also be fixed via this command as well. So as you could see, the app is now being installed and it should only take a few seconds for the app to be installed. And it's the older APK file and you should see that we have got a success message. Likewise, on my app, I've, on my phone, I've also got the app and the app version will be 18.0.1 as I've shown you before is the older version. So guys, there are two round off. There are two ways of rectifying this issue. In the first method, you could execute both this adb uninstall command. And once you have executed both this command, you could then install the older apk file via the adb install command or using the apk file on your phone. In the second method, you just need to use the first adb install command. And after you have used the first adb install command, you just need to use the adb install dash d parameter command. And this will also rectify the issue. Moreover, you also have to turn off the automatic updates from Play Store. If you don't do so, then Play Store will update the app to the latest build and it will nullify the fix. So let me show you how that could be done. So open Play Store and search for the app of your choice on which you have performed this downgrade. Then tap on the overflow icon at the top right and make sure to uncheck enable auto updates. Once that is done, your app will stay on this version. 
and if at any point in time you want to update the app to the latest build just open play store and type on update likewise you could again downgrade to the older build via these commands so just to round off either use both this command and then install the apk via the apk file or the adb install command or just use the first adb shell uninstall command and then use the adb install dash d command and both these should fix the underlying issue so guys on that note we round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and guys please like this video and subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching